Good afternoon, everyone. My name's David Lyas. This is RSL Today, and I'm in the studio with my good friend and colleague, Keith Harrison. How are you, Keith? Uh, good, thanks, David. Good afternoon to you and, and to the listeners. And yes. uh, have just a gentle happy birthday for the other day. Thanks, mate. Okay. Yeah, we, we talked we'll, about that. We'll yeah, let it go at that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're looking remarkably well. Uh, thank you. Uh, I didn't say that last week. Didn't you? No. I've I, we talked about the weather. We talked about- <laughs> It was a beautiful Adelaide sunny day. <laughs> Last Thursday. We're not talking about the weather today. No, let's not. No. We've got. Uh, no. it, uh, oh, don't. I won't say it slowed us down, but we didn't get through everything. So we, um, <sighs> we've got other things to to get through now. We have got a lot of things. The yes. um, RSL State branches in the Torrance Parade Ground has been for uh, a long time. Yeah, a corner of Victoria Drive and King William Road, uh, opposite Elder Park, at the, sort of at the back of Government House. There, that yeah. lovely big white building. That's where our, our offices the, are. The White House. Yeah, I bet a lot of people think of that. It's a minimalist art deco uh, opened in the late 1930s. Just question without notice, can you remember when it was built? 1902, 1920? I don't know. The building was opened around 37. Well, it was that early. War. It was yeah. that early, was and it? And it must have been maybe years in the building. Right. Okay. But I, the parade ground has been there since the previous century. I was going to say, I yeah. thought the parade ground had yeah. been there. Yeah. Our, our a contingents left for the South Africa War yes. from there, so that's late 1800s. Yeah. Uh, I imagine it was a parade ground. There would have had, well had before to have been that. some Even structure. Was, you would expect some. The horses uh, were stabled over the other side of Kintour Avenue. Yes, where the uni is now. Yeah. So and the but, stables, are, I think, are still there. I think they are, but converted. The yes. Yeah, so yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Actually, you would have you would have thought there would be some sort of a structure. Mm. Um, Maybe not an armory with the isolation, you know, the fact that it's uh, isolated, I guess. But having said that, it is a beautiful building. The The parquetry floor, uh, I know I know that it's creating havoc, yeah. but I, I can remember um, in, in my Navy Reserve days on Anzac Day oh, going into the drill hall. Special. And it, they were, they were special. But the floor, you know, but they used to drive their vehicles in we and did. park there. And, and, you know. Land Rovers, trucks, trailers, yeah, um, and not petrol a, baths to wash the Not a drop weapons. of oil on the pra- on the floor. Um, the, the parquetry shone. Yeah. It was just amazing. That would have been a, a large part of it, the, the shininess, the um, yes. uh, the varnish, because at the moment it's it's an oiled finish. And it smells beautiful. And it's, it's quite yes. what, what I call drummy. You can walk on it and it gives you that sort of hollow feel. And apparently that was part of the problem with the drainage, yes. apart from broken pipes and all that kind of thing, is that the lacquer was keeping all the moisture in. It wasn't right. breathing through the right. through the timber. So uh, it, it was a double-edged sword, wasn't it? It looked great. Yes, it did. Uh, look, it looked fantastic. But affected the... Uh, but now, yeah. I mean, it, it's a lot duller, yep. but it's oiled. And it, oh, you're walking there and the smell, you know, the um, it, linseed oil or whatever it yeah, is they're using, it is. Yeah. but it just smells delightful. Yeah, it, Mind you, I wouldn't want to get... Wouldn't want to see it go up and smoke. <laughs> no, it's uh, very special. Our phone number, uh, RSLSA, is 8100730. Our email is admin at rslsa.org.au. Facebook? Uh, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And, of course, there's the website. Uh, that also carries information, uh, rslsa.org.au. But the more immediate stuff is uh, uh, put onto Facebook. And, and we've got thousands and thousands of uh, followers, likers, viewers. It's good, isn't it? It is, it's yes. Excellent. So uh, we encourage people to, to look at that. Uh, since Ian uh, Smith has been posting to it uh, pre-ANZAC last year, um, we had a few thousand people. It was below 5,000. Then once he started posting his stuff and sending out the request messages for people to become a friend or a like or that kind of thing, it's uh, uh, it's just dramatically increased. So we've yeah. gone from getting dozens to hundreds looking at our posts to now getting 
over a thousand generally with a good post. One of them cracked quarter of a million. That's amazing, uh, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Little old Adelaide, and we're doing that. Yeah. And, and innovators. We've, we've had good comments from people saying, uh, "You've got the best Facebook of any of the state branch RSLs." Uh, but it's all about the care factor, having an interest, caring yes. enough to yes. uh, put up appropriate matter. Some of it's uh, uh, quite a lot of historical stuff, but some topical stuff, such as yes. uh, the open arms one eight hundred zero one one zero four six for people who. Um, re- uh, would appreciate some counselling. Yeah. Uh, need, need help, go and see them. Uh, things that are currently on, such as Exercise Talisman Sabre, where we're working say, with yes. other uh, nations. Um, um, and uh, being spied on. That happens every time. Of so, does. what, what of do you expect? Yeah, I don't have a, a problem with that. So it happens with RIMPAC. If we, exactly, if in, we in think Hawaii. that we're the, if they're the, that some of our. Um, other forces out there are the only ones spying on us. So, mm. uh, you've got another thing coming, and I'm sure we're doing something in return. Yes. yes but, We've got some submarines that are very good. We have. <laughs> so what are we going to talk about next? Come on. Uh, well, look, uh, the impact of co- uh, COVID yes. Again, uh, still. Is, is still with us. Um, a number of events were cancelled last week uh, or the week before, just because of we didn't know when we were coming out and people just cancelled or deferred events. So, That's right. Yeah. Uh, RAAF centenary activities have been postponed, cancelled, deferred. Uh, a number of the commemorations, which I'm not up to speed, only that if if I've put anything on our website on the calendar, it is it has said subject to COVID to change. Yeah. Um, and speaking of RAF, uh, I have confirmed. Um, that Greg Weller, Group Captain Greg Weller, will be in the studio with us next week. And, Excellent. And he can actually bring us up to speed on what's going on, yep. how, when they're being deferred, if they're being cancelled, things like that. Yeah, well, so, he'll have a better handle yes, yeah. uh, on it as well. So people, um, please check with local organisers or organisers uh, for any events that you had your heart set on, but mm. uh, better safe than sorry. Uh, anything on our website is uh, uh, subject to uh, amendment, of course. Because the one in Munta, I, th- I think they were looking forward to because of the... That was going to uh, be late August. Yes, and yeah. because of the Williams relationship. Yep, Sir Richard um, Williams. Sir Richard Williams, yeah. And um, born there, lived there. Grew up, worked there yes. before he joined the uh, Flying Corps, yeah. or uh, the AIF, I guess it was. He, he was uh, the first graduate from, from Point, Point Cook. Cook. How about that? Yeah, Way back. The first yeah. Uh, Australian pilot and and went went on to fa- to found the um, modern m- the Royal Australian Air yeah. Force. And I have no doubt that Greg will let us know <laughs> next week. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, they've got planned uh, the unveiling of a statue of Sir Richard Williams in his latter years in uniform with medals, sitting on a park bench, uh, looking up at the sky. So people will be able to sit beside him talk to him, have their photograph taken, um, yeah. all of that kind of thing. And, and Munta should be rightly proud of the statue and of his service. Beautiful uh, little and, town. And of their, um, uh, of their activities to commemorate yeah. him. Yeah. You know, so. That would be interesting. So um, if people want to come into the mess for lunch, uh, at this stage we're still taking bookings. Um, however... Obviously, due to the COVID, yep. um, if we ha- happen to go back into lockdown or the restrictions are increased, and touch wood, we're not getting too many or any um, infections at this stage, it will be going ahead. Um, Annette Moore on 8227-0980, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, will gladly take bookings, providing there are seats available. So it, it's planned for the third Wednesday of August and the third Wednesday of September. Yes. Um, so it's next but week. But you may as well get your booking in. Yeah, get, What's get the worst thing in. that can happen? Um, what Annette will ask people is um, what they would prefer to eat with the two-course meal and we know in advance Cheryl's um, Kitchen Cuisine gives us the menu in advance um, if you've got an email address, um, give it to Annette if you're interested in, she will uh, mail you the um, the menu and then you need to let her know, um, it just helps the caterers with catering and um, and then if it is cancelled, we are able to get in touch with Have you to, yeah. Yes, um, either 
uh, email and or mobile phone or home phone number for those who still use the home. So phone. I've popped it up on the RSL Facebook, mm. uh, and uh, fingers crossed. We, yeah, it, touch uh, wood, it'll go ahead. It uh, can still go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Look, if people are um, stuck at home and want something to do, and they have an interest in their their own relatives' military history, uh, yes. if they served Australia and have uh, and have seen active service, then uh, go to vwma.org.au, which is the Virtual War Memorial Australia, register, uh, see what we've got on your relative at the moment, which might just be uh, a Money. surname yes. and a set of initials yes. and no information, but yeah. uh, you will know their service record or you can actually link it to the if it, in the case of world war one um you can register to be to put to input um add in the links to their service record to the any of the red cross information mm. uh, any trove articles all that kind of thing uh, put in photographs of them in uniform i did it with one of my uncles yeah hopefully they came home many didn't over sixty thousand australians didn't 64 something yeah so uh, uh, let's put in a tribute uh, to their service as well if you've got family photographs of them serving uh, medals uh, that kind of thing pop the photo on uh, an increase uh, if if there were brothers or brother and a sister that kind of thing you can uh, link them as relations as as bob carney said to me once when they first got it going if they survived the war they went on to live to 103 and they had a lovely life we want to know about it it's not just their War or their service history. Yeah. It's what they did afterwards. Exactly. How they yeah. how they tackled life after the their service. So. Were they involved with the RSL or yeah. uh, other service organisations? As Bob says, uh, if you were a casualty, your name is carved in stone or cast in bronze. If you survived and came home, you're not remembered to the same um, same extent. No. So uh, that's what the virtual war memorial is there for. For everyone who has served since Boer War through to now, right up to now, um, uh, in the Australian Defence Force in the, in the military of our country. So uh, please uh, add, uh, go in, register, uh, be appointed or given the okay. Uh, whatever you input uh, generally doesn't go straight on. No, it's vetted. Uh, I think images do, but uh, uh, some of the descriptions you you may have historical um, be historically incorrect, yeah. Yeah. or have read a service record uh, incorrectly, yeah. especially with acronyms uh, and all That's that right. kind of thing. So, so it, is, it is vetted. It's moderated, yeah. and and, um, and rightly so. But it, it's your family history, and it's preserved forever. Yep, so that's, uh, that's VW, yeah, vwma.org.au. Uh, you register with your email address with a password. Uh, look at what others have done and then plagiarise their techniques. Uh, add in the photographs, yeah. add in the stories, add in the links. Uh, I enjoy working on it. Uh, a friend of mine, um, Mary Sweetman, um, gave me a, a large number of glass negatives taken from a store a photography shop on Unley Road uh, some years ago she gave them to me and they were of World War One diggers taken at the time wow. um, and that collection the Sweetman collection is now in the uh, State Library did they happen but to have the names of the a lot of them oh good but, and Bob I gave them to Bob and, and Sharon uh, at the VWM to start with and um, they they did research some and identified some. Um, some had names, others didn't. But um, they're now sitting in the, in the State Library. Fantastic. And I'm about to give them some more from Mary, taken at the dedication of the Boer War Memorial. Okay. In 1907. Yep. And that was funded by public subscription. Uh, they are I, I amazing yeah, I remember they had the centenary of it uh, uh, a number of years ago. David, I just might mention, uh, back to work again, uh, the RSL Employment Program. We now have yes. appointed uh, Hayley Kovacic uh, to the staff, and she's the case manager, navigator. Her phone number is 8100-7314 or mobile 0477-787-672. So... No, How's the eyesight? Yeah, I just have to <laughs> lift the glasses up to uh, to read that at that oh. distance. But uh, Haley's doing a great job. So uh, we want to get people into meaningful employment, and that's for veterans and uh, and partners. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, it's that time again. It comes around. It so uh, thank you for listening. And uh, for those of you who aren't in the Adelaide time zone, you're listening somewhere else in the world, good evening. And good afternoon, everyone.